Alright, so last time I said I was going to talk a little bit about Ash and Pokemon, and I'll get to that eventually. But first I want to address some comments made by Jamin Warren over at the PBS Game Show, where he talks about first-person shooting games. So he basically asks the question, are first-person shooting games evolving? And then he says, we'll look at Gone Home, look at Portal, and whatever. And he mentions some FP games, some first-person games that he says are first-person shooters, but really are not. And what seems to me is that he fails to get the distinction between genre as defined by a core mechanic and perspective. Now, personally, I've always been hesitant about labeling games genre only on its mechanic, but that's the way we do it. When you have a platform game, you jump from platform to platform. When you have a beat em up, the core mechanic is fighting people and beating them up. Dancing game, you dance, and a shooter game, you shoot stuff. The problem of the first person shooter perfectly illustrates why it is that we need more than just a mechanic to define a game genre. The arcade classic Aero Fighters and the contemporary game Call of Duty Modern Warfare, insert your favorite number here, are both shooters, but no one would really classify them as part of the same core genre. Why not? Because they have differences, namely the perspective. If you think of shooting games as having a single evolutionary branch in the history of gaming, at some point that branch splits into top-down shooters like area fighters and first-person shooters like Doom. But this doesn't mean that everything that's set on a first-person is a first-person shooter. Portal, for example, isn't a first-person shooter. It's a puzzle game core mechanic is solving puzzles. And sure, it has a first-person perspective, but that first-person perspective is what effectively modifies the core genre, thus making it a first-person puzzle game. Gone Home is an adventure game where the core mechanic is exploring the virtual space, the house. Or maybe if you want to stretch the literary definition a little bit, you could say that it's a detective game where the core mechanic is discovering stuff. You can argue about it both ways. But it takes place from a first-person perspective, thus turning it into a first-person detective game or a first-person adventure game, rather than the more traditional adventure game like Zelda, which usually takes place from the third person or from the bird's eye view. So going back to shooters, you have games like Raiden, Aero Fighters of course, Lightning Force for the Sega Genesis, Bullet Hell Games, and each of these indicates a different branch in the evolution of the shooting genre. The same is true of the first-person puzzle game. It doesn't indicate an evolution of the first-person game, it indicates an evolution of the puzzle game. It essentially shows the use of the first-person perspective in non-shooting games. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, that's a first-person role-playing game, not a first-person shooter. Of course, you can define what it means to be a role-playing game, but we can do that some other time. So, is the quote-unquote FPS evolving? Not really. Core mechanics have remained stagnant since forever, and sure, sometimes they might borrow elements from other genres. If you look at Titanfall, there's a sci-fi-ish setting, for example. That's hardly the evolution of the first-person shooter, which, I remind you, is a subcategory of the shooting genre. If anything, the evolution of the FPS came and went with Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. What we see there is a game that, at its core, is as much about shooting stuff as it is about exploring and narrative. You could argue then that at some point, the evolutionary branch of shooting games met the evolutionary branch of role-playing games. They met, and Fallout 3 came out. But by and large, it's not the trend in which game developers are going. What we see is more and more a kind of formulaic approach to creating first-person shooting games. Because, as our friend over at PBS Game Show says, if you don't follow the formulaic strategies, you don't get into the game. You don't get to compete with the quote-unquote big boys. So, FPS evolution, not so much. Just the same game over and over with new assets. Now, excuse me while I go play a game that truly evolves, like, um, Madden.